bombshell developments in the Swedish election where it looks like the leftists may finally face defeat. Oh, bloody time. With over 94% of votes now counted and with the result on a knife edge, the right-wing bloc holds a slim 1% lead. That alliance includes the Sweden Democrats, the right-wing anti-mass migration party that has come from virtually nowhere to become the second biggest party in Sweden. It looks like SD is going to capture around 21% of the vote. The centre-right bloc is currently edging out the centre-left alliance led by Prime Minister Anderson, with the final tally set to be announced on Wednesday. Note that the exit polls initially suggested that the left-wing bloc would win, but the actual results of the vote now suggest a victory for the right-wing bloc. Again, we see the shy voter effect, where the voters tell the pollsters that they're going to vote left-wing, but then actually go in and vote for the right-wing parties. Another huge white pill is the fact that 58% of young voters, those aged 18 to 29, voted for the right-wing bloc. More specifically, from people between the ages of 18 and 21, Sweden Democrats received 22% of the vote. That represents a doubling compared to the last election. Another added irony is the fact that the ruling leftist party, Social Democrats, lost votes to a new far-left pro-migrant party called Nyans. In some heavily migrant populated areas of the country like Rinkeby, significant numbers of voters have abandoned SD for Nyans. And funnily enough, they've done so in response to SD having to acknowledge that mass migration has basically failed, with the Swedish Prime Minister previously vowing to put a stop to the growth of ethnic ghettos. So the pro-migrant party might have actually cost the left-wing bloc the election. Ooh, you love to see it. But it's a shame what has had to happen to Sweden in order for the left to lose power. Soaring crime, much of it driven by vast numbers of unintegrated migrants. Social disorder driven by warp speed multiculti that over the last 20 years took Sweden from being one of the safest countries in Europe to being one of the most dangerous, exemplified by yet another round of violent riots in migrant dense areas earlier this year. Overall, whatever the final result, the election represents a stunning achievement for the Sweden Democrats, who have completely outstripped expectations and are now a huge influential power block within Sweden, because they dared smash through Sweden's creepy, ominous obsession with political correctness, and because large enough numbers of people are finally sick of the leftists' demented agenda to use mass migration as a weapon to eviscerate the identity of the country. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.